function right now that takes in two parameters, the number of times and the text to print. So if I run this guy, it'll print that text that many times. Um, sometimes in C++, I write a function, and then I want a really similar function, um, but with slightly different things happening with the parameters. And C++ allows me to overload, which means that I can write more than one version of the same function. It has the same name and the same return type, which is void in this case. But I can change either the number or the types of the parameters. So perhaps I would like to send this two pieces of text. And what I can do is edit what it does internally. So it's just a little bit different. But really, it's kind of doing the same task, right? It's, re it's repeating this text that number of times. And down here, if I call the version with two parameters, it'll automatically find the function that has two parameters and call it. If I call the version with three, it'll automatically find this version. So let me call both of them here. Uh, let's do five. Let's do by and uh, actually here, let's do this. Buh. Bye. So if I run them both, they will automatically call um, the correct version once they run. So here the first one. Come on, buddy. Okay, this. Oh, cloud nine, why? Why are you so slow? Oh, left my semicolon off. Okay, run this. All right, so there's the first version getting called i hi hi because I give it two parameters. If I give it three, it calls the other version. And I can overload as many times as I want in as many different ways as I want. So perhaps I'd like a version that instead of printing a string, prints an integer. So like I said, you can change the number of things or you can change the types of things. So now I have a version that lets me print a certain number of an integer. Let's just verify that that works. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, print info, sorry. Okay, run. So here's my first version called, my second version called, my third version called. I can keep overloading as many times as I want, but really I want to only do this when the job of the function is essentially the same, but the parameters are a little bit different.